All right, we've got a bonus video here for anyone who's interested in the detail of what the inside of this inverter is like. Uh, probably going a little bit too deep for a lot of people, so I've decided to make this a, a separate video um, for people to watch at their leisure. So we're going to disassemble the inverter a little bit further, go a little bit deeper into the to take a look at the components that make it up. So first off, we're going to remove the capacitor so we can look at what's underneath it. So, had intended to take the the driver board and auxiliary circuits off the IGBTs, but they are very well Loctited in, so I don't want to do any real damage to anything. But here you've got the uh, three different IGBT driver circuits, um, sort of two identical high side and low side uh, circuits for each one. Um, and then the auxiliary circuitry here for the monitoring and error handling side of things. So this is the core of the inverter. The DC power um, held or via the capacitor goes in through this side of the IGBTs. And then the instructions coming from the logic board interpreted here and they send the um, Three phase power out through this side of the uh, the IGBT. Uh, now that we've taken a look deep inside it, I'm going to reassemble it so that in future videos we can start looking at trying to get some signals to it and some power through it. So I hope you enjoyed our bonus feature, looking inside the Nissan Leaf inverter. Um, it was quite cool to get a chance to look into it. I'm going to try and do these sorts of videos whenever I find something interesting uh, to go a little bit more in depth to. I'll generally do them as a bonus feature, just so that um, you know if it's too in depth for people, they don't have to watch it. But for those of you who like that thing, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, pre please, please. Uh, subscribe, um, like the video, uh, click the notify button if you want to receive updates. But thanks for joining us today and I hope you enjoyed it.